Hello, I'm Mary Beth Carroza. I'm running for District 38C as Maryland State Delegate. She knows the shore. Her family is here in the shore. Mary Beth is gonna bring a different perspective, a can-do attitude. Somebody that knows how to get things done. And I have to start with my family, knowing how very fortunate I am to have Mary Pat and Tony Carroza as my parents. Their love, kindness, support, and friendship have been a constant in my life and in our lives, and I love them dearly. But as I'm going and doing this door to door, you know, I'm, I'm introducing myself for the first time to a lot of folks. So what do you think they need to know about me when I have that just that couple minutes where I'm trying to make a good first impression? Yeah, just put that smile on your face, put, put your best foot forward, let them know what you're all about, who you are, how long that you have been raised here and were educated here and that you've returned home. Tell them where you came from, Mary Beth. Tell them you spent time up in Washington. You worked for the state of Maryland. Your community down here, you've done wonders down here with the church and teaching Sunday school. And your reputation will take you far. What is your take on the uh, immediate challenges uh, facing our veterans and their families today? Well, the immediate ones are the ones returning from Iraq and Afghanistan. You know, there's a, over a two-year backlog on veterans, on the veterans' benefits. And While I was in, I did five years on the USS George Washington as an engineer. And um, so one of the first things I did was apply to five or six, seven, a dozen different engineering firms around here. And every single one of them gave preferential, or gave preferential treatment to college graduates. As I thought having five years on the job training, I would have preferential treatment over that. I have been fortunate to have worked for elected officials who have been completely committed to public service. And they include Ohio Congressman Dave Hobson, I was his chief of staff for 10 years, Maryland Governor Bob Ehrlich, Secretary Don Rumsfeld, and President George W. Bush's administration. My best years in public service were when I served as Deputy Chief of Staff for Governor Ehrlich. He allowed me to be home with my family. He allowed me to work with local elected officials, community leaders, uh, business owners, and leaders. What do you expect from state government so you can continue the tradition in Ocean City for your children and grandchildren? I feel like we're, t we're taxed here as if we have two, three blocks of condominiums, and we don't. This is just a black top pad that rides sit on, and yet we, we seem to be appraised and taxed at a, a, a way larger amount, and we just, we just can't afford the increasing tax load. What is your favorite trim for a ride? Oh, the haunted house. Okay. It has to be the haunted okay. house. My father built that in the 60s, and we're really proud of it. I have seven nieces and nephews. I would like to see them have the opportunity to raise their families in this area. I believe it's important to support policies and strategies that will keep the shore strong so that our children and grandchildren will want to return to the shore and raise their families here. Mia, you and your husband made a decision to raise your family in this area. You know, why did you decide to do that and what are the challenges? I, I see a lot of companies looking outside of Maryland right now because of the tax benefits for them and I think it's very important to sustain and keep that in our neighborhood so that families, it starts with individuals and families and that they have the knowledge and the background that they can certainly make the decisions that are right for them rather than having to move away from the area. Evan, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a superhero. A superhero. As I'm listening to people, as I'm going door to door, as I'm meeting every day with people on the front lines, I'm finding that we share the same concerns. Maryland has gone off track. We have to hold the line on taxes. We have to have less regulation. We have to cut our spending. That's the way that we'll have our children and our grandchildren return and stay in Maryland. Thank you so much for taking a minute or two to listen, and I really am looking forward to meeting you out there.